Good day guys, I'm Wogazette, and today we're going to talk about how to rig your iPhone 15, 15 Pro Max, that's the one that I own. With the release of the iPhone 16 just a few weeks ago, that by the way, it was a little bit underwhelming, and that's coming from an Apple fanboy, you are stuck with a question, should you upgrade or not as a content creator? As a tech enthusiast, I would say, of course you got to upgrade. New things stay better, right? But I understand that this may not be the popular opinion, mostly because some iPhone this year cost more than a gaming PC. So lastly, even if you end up upgrading, most creator tools won't be available for another few months, at least. So... Today we're gonna to talk about the iPhone 15, how to use as a creator, just adding a couple of accessories. In this video, I've chosen the Noah ecosystem. Disclaimer, Noah is not sponsoring this video, nor they're even aware that I'm making one. The options on mine and mine alone. Noah, if you're watching this and you wanna send me something for free, <laughs> That'd be great, but the opinion will still be mine. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to the case, I've been rocking this case. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max case. As you can see, there is a bit of wear and tear, but to be honest, I'm very clumsy. So the fact that the phone lenses are still intact, despite they are not covered at the front, the only covers on the side that they've got these thicker bumpers, it's a good sign. It's a very, very good sign. So the case is sturdy and it comes with an adapter that you can just pop in. You just push it in and there you go. You can put lenses. We'll talk about lenses in a minute. But this is just with the iPhone that you have in your pocket. Now, let's talk about cages. So, this is the case. This is the version two. As you can see at the top, right here, and at the bottom, you got the quick release mounts. We'll talk about the handle, quick release handle in a minute. But with the cage, the only thing that you need to do is flip the switch on the side. The only thing that you have to do is flip the switch on the side like this, and this is going to open. You just place your iPhone, you line it up, it's padded inside. Your phone is going to be protected. You close it, and then you flick the switch, and now it's not going anywhere, right? So this is how it looks, front and back. My phone is a little, <laughs> it's got a few smudges. But yeah, so this is how it looks. Now, as you can see at the back, it's got this, that you can easily, you just push in and push up, and it comes up. In the box, you get this one, which is to mount the newer lenses. Talk about lenses in a minute as well. Then we have this that is very similar, but you can see here is slightly different. This is the mount for the t Moment T lenses that are premium lenses is one of the best, um, best brand on the market when it comes to um, iPhone lenses. So this cage is compatible with Moment T lenses. And then you also get, as, as the other one, as the other case, you get this one for filters. Now, how do you mount this? Exactly the same way. You see how the back has got the two, the two pins? You line them up, and then you push down, you hear the click, and you know that it's not going anywhere. It's fixed. Now, those ones are the quick release handles. What is the difference between this one and the version one? 
This one you can push and you got a clamp, so you push in and then you fit it and then you got a lever here that make sure that once it's closed, even if you push, even if you accidentally push or it falls on the floor, this one, the, the handles won't release from the cage. So we turn it and then you got your cage, push in, you find the two the two sides and then you close it. Make sure that you close it on the right side. As you can see now, it's not going anywhere. Those those handles you can get one but you can also get a second one i got a second one this is really good so this one doubles as a shoe mount basically to add more stuff to your rig so if you want to add maybe an external microphone a, a light as long as they have the shoe mount it's fine now if you don't need it you just put this back Keep in mind that this button, not this one that I have here, but I know Nua has a version of these quick release, quick release mounts that instead of having just a cover, it doubles as a Bluetooth button. This is not the one that I have, but I know Nua has it. Um, I couldn't find it in Australia. Maybe just me. But... So now we got the first one and then we attach the second one. We close it and we can do vertical. So this is vertical mode. You can also have it in vertical. You can also have it in vertical mode. So as I access both. Also, before I forget, in both of them, you have Allen key that you can use it to move. You also have an Allen key um, that you can use for moving this bit a bit further down or a bit further up. As you can see, you have, as you can see, you have a hole here where you can use this to move it up and down. And then it's magnetic. It just got back inside. It slides back inside. Now, when it comes to lenses, Noah has a pack that comes in a really, really nice cage. And then this is one of them. And the only thing that you have to do is you line it up and then you screw it in. You screw it on. Once it's done, there you go. There's an ND filter, variable. As you can see, you got the thing on the side. Then the kit also comes with an MRC black diffusion filter. And also, before I forget, also those are stackable. They are magnetic, so you can stack them on top of each other. This one, and then you got another one. This one is a AMRC 32 ND3267. And as the other one, I can't even, <laughs> they're stacking one to each other. Um, but yeah, you can literally stack them on top of each other. Let's say you're finished for the day, right? Uh, you found the right settings, so you don't want to change them. You got the cover, you just slap it on. It's literally magnetic. You slap it on, and there you go. And you can put it on the side, and it stays as it is. I, unfortunately, at this point in time, I don't have any lens for for this i 
I was I was waiting for Amazon Prime Day and then I ended up getting a coffee machine. More content coming on that soon as well. Um, but um, I will I will link down below all the lenses. Um, I want to say make sure that you use them with your main camera because the main camera on the iPhone 15 is the best camera. But even without the lenses, the iPhone camera is really good for content creators. So even just for the filters, if you're outside, most of the time is more than enough. Because before the video finished, I just I was packing up everything and I realized that I forgot to talk about the step up rings. I know it's it's not what you think that is, <laughs> but it would be. So uh, some of the better filters that they made usually for DSLR cameras, they are bigger than 67 millimeters, which is um, what supports, which is what is supported by, by this. So what you can do is you can use step up rings. Newer has them, they're like 15 bucks. Um, those one go between 49 millimeters and 82, as you can see on the side. 82 millimeter filters, they are way, way better than the 67 because it gives you access to obviously other brands. And the 82 millimeters are really, really good. Uh, I'm happy to put down below um, a few a few brands that I recommend when it comes to filters. So ours and those ones, they're not magnetic. You just have to unscrew them like this. You unscrew them and they come off. And the same thing you would do here. You will screw them on there. Fits like a glove, and then you put it on your iPhone. And same thing for here, you just line it up, and then you screw them in. You screw them up, and there you go. Now, back to the video. I promise this is the last thing, all right? Only for the cage, you can have a cool shoe mount splitter. That's what it is. What it does is it goes into a normal cool shoe mount and then it gives you two cool shoe mounts instead. So one you can have a light and one you can have a mic. In this case, I got it because I got something that is really inexpensive, but because most of us, when we record, we record by ourselves. So, mirror. How cool is this? So what you do is basically you put it on as in the middle as possible. That's why the split that as well. So, even though you're pointing yourself the camera at you and the screen is on the other side, with the, with the mirror, you can actually see what you're, what you're looking at. So you can make sure that you are in frame. How cool is that? Let's go back to the video. Well, the affiliate link will be down below under iPhone rig. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like whatever side of the video I will have it. I will see you then. Hello, mates.